Kazuya Mishima. A lot of people really, really don't like this character. But, and I was actually talking a bit with uh, with X before uh, the set even started. And it seems that uh, X actually doesn't really have uh, much Steve experience uh, himself. But, 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 but he was uh, learning about Steve from uh, their peers a bit earlier. And starting things off, they ain't doing like too bad. I already got like 34 up on them. Yeah, I mean, like, especially with a good fundamental style character like Marth, you can, to an extent, still kind of fake it till you make it. But, I mean, not having Steve experience is one yeah, of maybe the worst matchups to not have experience in. This character is weird. Yeah. But um, we can already see, you know, X doing a pretty good job at keeping things competitive. Got a little bit of a lead, but as I say that, getting put off stage. All right, going to be able to make it. I got that forward tilt off with the tipper, too. Nicely done. Yeah, great spacing by X. All right, gold pickaxe not going to be doing it just yet for Dill. Going to have to work a little bit harder to get this Ooh, kill. Ooh, nice catch on that roll with that X-Man. All right. All right. Now, I, I guess, like, Loki in theory, like, this might not be too, too bad for Marth, especially since, like, Marth is, of course, like, really rewarded for spacing. And it's, it seems like... What, what a lot of Steve players like, I kind of just want is either the jab or the up tilt. Like, it, like either one of those things, like, yo, that, that can lead into some real, real uh, dangerous combos. <clears throat> yeah, and Man. that that being said as well, I think the way that we were seeing Dill play so far is very aggressive, very hitbox heavy, uh, as opposed to, you know, the other sort of Steve game plan of you know, walking back, setting up block walls, and mining for resources like that. But I mean, yeah. you know, if X can really start to clean up that neutral, then might start seeing him making the comeback. But he's got he's got a little a little ways to go. Yeah, de definitely for sure. Uh, uh, giving him uh, being behind in terms of stock, right? Yeah. All right. But, but it's uh, not too bad. Hey, hold up. There's that name. It's coming <laughs> well, right there. in. Well, there goes that stock lead just like that. <laughs> yep. But X is getting put off stage again. We're going to see maybe a ledge trap scenario. Just looking for a roll read. Dill not going for anything too crazy just yet. And it's going to get put Ooh. off stage for their troubles. Okay, nice day. And getting there off too. All right, I like the way that X is just using using his movement, just empty, empty jumps. Yep. Doesn't get the spike hitbox, which means Dill gets to live a little bit longer. Goes oh, high. Nice catch on, on these recoveries, but I think it's more so on Dill for kind of just like recovering a bit above the ledge. And you'll that dance so so Nicely done. Absolutely. I mean, just X working towards his, uh, his win condition of getting Steve off stage and setting up these ledge trap situations, especially on a stage like FD. No, yeah. Dill didn't really have anywhere to go. Yeah. It's just like, all right, I get to reset at ledge and now pick some option that hopefully doesn't involve me running into a big sword. <laughs> yeah. And it, and it seems like um, picking FD is like a seems to be a solid uh, stage Three, against uh, two, Steve since one, um, with, with with those like up tilts and just like the, the little up air chains that he can do and, and all that shit like. Uh, yo, that could be really, really uh, quite a bit of a pain in the rear to deal with. Yeah. Uh, so for a lot of different uh, people. So yeah, that, that that was a good stage pick as well uh, for game one. But now we're on Kalos here, and I caught word that uh, Steve is more likely to get uh, some more armor. Uh, well, not armor. Uh, iron. My fault. Yeah, uh, yeah. On stages uh, such as this. Yeah, I am really, I'm very curious as to what X's bands were. We don't uh, get to see them right now, but Kalos is a super good stage for Steve. Like you were saying yeah. before, he gets so much iron, yeah. uh, similar to Pokemon Stadium 2. And especially with the Kalos platforms and just the wide stage, Dill should have a lot of room to run around and get some uh, resources. But right now, okay, yeah, and uh, also, the way that X was playing before, getting a lot of kills off of ledge traps, but Kalos going to be helping Dill out so much more. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, you, you might have even noticed that Dill was, uh, especially like go, going above ledge uh, with the recoveries uh, quite a bit off in, the, in that last match. And yo, given the platforms right here, 
uh, yo, they've got, got a bit more options when, when it comes to recovering. Yep, and now Rage is offline for X, meaning he's going to have to work a little bit harder to get this first stock while Dill is just running away and oh. picking at the ground, but finally but hey, getting the back air. No, no need for that Rage. <laughs> yeah, no extra credit either for Dill, so we're right back to even game. Great parry on the delayed side B. That was oh. so good by Dill, and getting huge rewards out of it as well. Already having X at 64%. Oop. And getting that what grab off. Catch. What a catch indeed. Oh, uh, oh, no. I think X was maybe preparing to, like, get, tech the wall off yeah. the anvil, but just air dodge. Yeah, just messed up their timing right there. And another great parry coming out from Dill. Not getting too much out of it this time. Hey, nice job catching them in the, in the air with that forward air and getting the dash attack after. Oh, there's the minecart. Yeah, that's oh. one of those things that you really got to know in this Steve matchup. That's maybe yeah. a little bit of that inexperience you were talking about before. There's the diamond. See if Dill is going to start bringing it out. I mean, you know, Dill's at 48%. I feel like really no reason to not bring it out ASAP. Especially if you're going to be looking for the kill pretty but soon. But nice ledge trap with that side B. Ooh, just looking for another uh, roll read off of the ledge right there. And Dill's just swinging this sword right now. Oh, dang. They almost saw God with that down in, but not. Nah. <laughs> Steve, Steve can just go so low with that recovery. There's that anvil to take that second game. Yep, anvil catching X, uh, swinging a little bit too hard, swinging at the air, yeah. and catches a, an anvil for his troubles. Yeah. So, so yeah, I really picking. feel like the, the stage pick yeah. was probably what made the difference there in that game, too. Yeah. I, I would kind of agree. Like, Steve, the, Steve having more iron just uh, let Steve uh, have, like, more access to anvils and uh, minecarts. And minecart alone is already, like, a great, uh, just a great option. All right. For, for recovering, a really, really great burst option, too. And, and it can even grab opponents, too, pretty much. Absolutely. But X is bringing things right back to FD, which I super agree with. Yeah, this, yeah. This felt like X's stage in this matchup. Yeah, especially after, like, the last game and all that. And yeah. and what we mentioned uh, before about no. Kalos. Oh. Woo. Actually, I really like the delay on the mash from X right there, not falling into that uh, up, up smash, smash trap. Yeah, that, that that was very well played by uh, by X right there. Hold up. Getting a little jab to forward it. Starting to see a couple of adaptations coming out from X. Uh, we saw him roll through that minecart, but Dill was ready for it that time. And still only 37% on Dill. X, X has got to start getting some momentum back in his favor. Oh, Ooh, that's up. momentum. Nice on that forward smash and and the a back bit here. more. Ooh, I was supposed to get in another one right there. That, that probably could have been their stock right there. But oh. All right, only getting the F tilt off of the F smash punish. X wasn't quite confident enough to get something bigger. Try to get a bit of a mix with that dancing blade, only to catch an up throw. Right. Dill already has There's that diamond. Forward, eh? Nicely done. Gonna see if they're gonna craft it immediately. Yep. They are. There, there, there's Steve's little arson. See, see that arson <laughs> yeah. back there right there? Arson. It's pretty much the same move. <laughs> I'm kidding. Just messing around. Ooh. All right, nice catch on that up B with that yep. dancing blade. Ah. The little bit Ka of a punish. Kinda had the right idea with that up here, but it was just rather off. Now we're seeing X playing a little bit more defensively. That time, getting caught out with the grab. Oh, Ooh. wow. This uh, space nair. Right. That, <laughs> that was a bit of a strange anvil, but hey, it worked out quite well. Yep. All right, good punish there with the slide and F tilt on the whiff F smash. Not able to find any punish on that up B, though. And things are slowly starting to get into Dill's favor. I got that side B off. Ooh, and another diamond. Dill's just getting so many resources out of this game three. Oh, but hey, there's that backer coming up from X to take that second stock. Yep, Dill gonna go ahead and craft the that diamond, diamond resource, right again. back. And I think it's interesting how um, Dill is playing, like even when they have diamond, they go right back to mining. You know, they're still, they're, they're always on that grind, hey. you know? <laughs> they're getting them resources. Hey, look, look, j just in case if, if some diamond equipment be breaking. And hey, like, j just add some more iron, because if, if you if you look at uh, Dill's resources, it doesn't really look like Dill has much iron left. Yeah, that bank account looking a little low. 
<laughs> but that diamond back air gonna be giving Dill some space to start mining again. 80% now, so X could be looking for a kill soon. Up. Great okay. playing around the anvil by X. Ooh, putting the back air. The Dill tip back in the corner. This is where X shown so well in game one. We're gonna see if he can find the kill, but uh, no, doesn't get the tipper. the tipper. Dancing blade. This is FD, not the dance floor. Oh no. Ooh, okay. Almost caught that landing with the with the down tilt. I saw Dill get like one nair with the oh, diamond. There's that tipper forward tilt to take that very last stock. Nicely done by X. Absolutely good uh, stuff. A player who has little to no experience with the Steve matchup did pretty dang well there. Yeah, you know, like I was saying before, fake it till you make it. <laughs> and X made it. I mean, a I mean, hey, like, X didn't, didn't really fake it. Like, they uh, they were at asking uh, other people for uh, some imp info on Steve and for some counterplay. Absolutely, and I mean, hey, we hey. even we they, even they did see like some that. some adaptations coming out through the through the set. So yeah, great great stuff by X. Great stuff indeed. All right, all right. Now, next up. We're going to be having Bobo versus Skeet. Ooh, let's go. I love watching Skeet sets. Now, honestly, I'm not like too familiar with uh, either of these uh, players. Um, so, I'm like,